Howdy folks, welcome to another episode of Bikes, Burgers, Beers, I'm Big Steph and uh, before we get started just want to remind you all, head down below the video and click subscribe, much appreciated if you could. Today I'm going to show you this bike I've been working on for a mate of mine, it's a Honda CB400, it's been bought out to 450 and uh, originally we started off just by getting the front brakes unseized and that was where the can of worms began because as we looked into it more and more uh, the front brakes were rusted, I rebuilt those. Uh, we didn't have to fully rebuild them, which was very fortunate, but the original brake pad that was in there, even though it wasn't worn out, it was seized and rusted in there. So, anyway, moving along, uh, you can see some wrap on the header pipes there. Dave's put that on there, purely just to make the muffler and the exhaust system look a bit nicer because uh, it was a bit holy and all that. Dave's kind of just... Um, welded up the holes as best as we could until we find a nicer exhaust or, or get one made for it. So for now, it's going with the hipster wrap and uh, yeah. Also uh, adjusted the clutch lever, uh, the clutch free play as well as the throttle free play as well. Both of those were well out of whack so it's feeling a lot nicer. Dave's going to be replacing this part here with a, a speedo and a taco to make it look more symmetrical. And you can see there the top handlebar mount has been blanked off because we've put some clip-ons on there. And actually Dave did all of that and he's run the wiring through the clip-on. So it's all very tidy and nice and neat. Coming around the side of the bike here, uh, we've put new spark plugs in and we've also um, uh, rebuilt the carburetors. Now the carburetors, we had some issues with that, but we were able to salvage some parts from the new kit, the replacement kit, and as well as using some of the old stuff that was still uh, workable and salvageable. So in the end, we got it running and it was all okay. Not without its issues. We had to use some easy outs a few times because the new Carby kit, despite the fact that it was supposed to be coming from the UK, I reckon it came from China. And uh, you can thank eBay for that. But anyway, look, we're about to get the bike started and uh, I'll let you just uh, sit back for a bit and have a listen to how it sounds. So this is the bike's inaugural run, and I just want you to have a listen to that inline four go. Are you ready? Ah, oh, doesn't that sound so good? So here we are, Dave's coming back after doing a few laps, and uh, we just let the engine warm up for a bit, and we adjusted the idle to get it running properly. You can hear a little bit of like cam chain slap here. There it is, just a little bit too low on that idle. So, running great here, and uh, yeah, I just want to say thanks everyone for watching. This is a short little video. Sorry I didn't record the whole process. I was knee deep in grease and carby cleaner and everything else, so thanks all for watching, and remember folks, keep it twisted.